hey, hey, it's your girl Jessica. If you want to learn how to sew this Little Lizard King's Women Magnolia Top, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, so I have all of my pattern pieces cut out. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I am going to get my main back bodice piece and my main front bodice piece and I'm going to pin them pin at the shoulder seams at both shoulder seams and side seams. You will repeat this step for your lining of your bodice. Okay, so I repeated that same step for my main and my my main and my lining bodice. You take this to the sewing machine and you're going to do your zigzag stitch along the shoulder seams and both side seams. I'll be back. Okay, so <clears throat> Okay, so I have my main and my lining bodice uh, sewn together from the side seams and the um on the side seams and on the shoulder part and I press them out. Press both of them out so they can just lay flat. So what I'll do next is I am going to flip one of my pieces right side out. Um, I have my main and my lining bodice the same so I didn't change up. But yeah, so what you'll do next is you're going to take one of your, your lining pieces, you take your lining piece and you're gonna flip that right side out. All right, what you're going to do next is you're going to take um, one of your finished bodices and you're going to put it inside of the, the one that is wrong side out. So you would have a main and a lining. My main and lining are the same, so it's just, hey, it's, it's no, I can do it either way. But yeah, what you'll do is you will put your lining bodice inside of your inside of your main bodice just like that. Alright so we matched up both some shoulder seams. So what you'll do next is, is you will just pin all the way around your neckline. Match up your seam and pin all the way around your neckline. Okay, so I matched my uh, my shoulder seams up around my neckline and I pinned all the way around, just like that. And what you do next, you just take it to the sewing machine and do your zigzag stitch, half and seam was all the way around your neckline. Okay, so I, cut my threads here. So I went to my sewing machine and I did a half and seam allowance around the neckline. And what you do next is you'll just, um, I'm going to cut off a, uh, one fourth inch of the seam allowance so then it can lay flat. Making sure not to cut my threads. Okay, so I cut off a one fourth inch seam allowance around my uh, neckline. What you do next is we're gonna flip this right side out. Okay, so I got it flipped right side out. What you'll do next is you'll head over to your sewing machine, long stitch all around the arm line, all around the arm hole to connect the lining in the bodice. Cause I'm having sleeves. I'm gonna put sleeves with this this top. Be right there. Okay, so yeah, I took this over to the I took this over to the sewing machine and I did a you know just a long stitch, just something that I can just to keep these armholes together. So um, now we're gonna construct our sleeves. Okay, so I got my sleeves and what I'm going to do is is I am going to first um, give myself a, a good a good hem, like a good crease here, a memory crease for my, uh, to hem up my sleeves. What I like to use is this. 
I like to use this heat and bun soft stretch. It's really, really like, it's really great for a knit. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll cut a, lot, cut a piece for the length of the bottom of your hem, just like that. Take your iron and you will iron that on the bottom of your hem, just like that. What you'll do next is, is you're going to wait until this cool. Make sure it cools and then you'll take this, um, the tape off. Okay, so the um, the tape has cooled, has cooled down. What you'll do is you'll grab it and take it apart, just like that, on both, both sleeves. Alrighty, so it's all put on. So what you do next is we're going to take both sleeves and line them up on your on the raw edge here. And we're gonna pin all the way down and surge. If you have a surgeon, and we're gonna surge off the um off your raw ends again. So I'm gonna take it to the surgeon, do a half inch seam allowance, um, zigzag stitch, and then I'll serve off my, I mean, I will serge off my raw ends. Okay, so I got my sleeves done, serge the raw end, and now I'm going to turn it right side out. All right, my sleeves are done, and now let's attach them to our bodies. So I brought back my, I brought my bodies back out again, and uh, well, um, if you're if you have a, a lining fabric, uh, this is probably not a good good example because I use a lining for both of them. But if you have a lining fabric, what you do is is you will turn your turn your bodice wrong side out. So let's just say this is my. I'm doing this. This is gonna be the wrong side. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take my sleeve and I am going to attach it to my arm. Hold. Yeah, I'm going to pin my sleeve all the way around my arm hole. I will do this with both, both sleeves. So as you can see, I have my sleeves um, pinned all the way around my armholes. I'm going to take this to the machine, do a, a zigzag stitch all the way around both seams, and I will serge my raw ends. Okay, so I surged my raw ends, and now I'm going to flip this right side out. Ooh, look at that. Look how cute this is. You guys are almost done. Okay, so I got my two skirt pieces. I have my front and my back. Remember, the front is, is always, the front is longer than the back part, okay? All right, we're gonna take our two skirt pieces and we're gonna put them right sides together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do, I'm going to pin both sides here, both of your short sides, and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch, and then I will serge my um, raw ends. Okay, so I have attached my um, front and back piece of my circle skirt, and I just went ahead and serged my raw ends. Now, let's turn this right side up. Okay, here's the fun part. Let's attach it to our bodice. Okay, so remember, this is really important. The, sh the short part of this skirt is your back, Go att is attached to your back bodice. The long part is attached to your front part of your bodice. 
this is your front bodice here because it has this cute little U shape. So what you'll do now is we're going to attach our sucker skirt to our bodice. All right, so this is the short part so we know that goes in the back. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna flip this over just like this. Flip it over. Well, I know this is my front. Okay, I don't even see my back. Okay, so yeah, now we're going to attach the side seams. The side seam of your circle skirt is going to attach to the side seam of your of your um, top. Because I'm telling you, this is really important. You ain't trying to go through all this and then have a dog on top the top. <laughs> Alright, so I match my side seam to pin all around my body. So attaching my, my, um, my circle skirt to my body. All the way around. Okay, so I have my circle skirt attached to my bodice. I pinned all the way around. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch and I'm going to serge to make it look very, very fine. So I just want to make let y'all give you a little tip. Make sure that please go slow when you're sewing and serging your knit fabrics. That's, that's pretty much with any fabric, but especially with your knit because it moves. It just, it's so... It's, it's so flowy, so it moves. So just take your time and just zigzag stitch all around. Well, zigzag a little bit, you know, stitch it. Make sure you check it out. See if nothing getting caught up and you just keep doing that. All right, I'll take it to the machine. I'll be right back. So, okay, I have attached my skirt piece to my bodice when I did my zigzag stitch and I just surged my, my raw ends. Are you ready for this? Tell me you're ready because I know you're ready. You're going to get ready. How cute is this? Look at that. Oh my goodness, it looks great. So what you'll do next is, is we're going to hem and then we're done. So you remember we put the heat and bun soften stretch on our sleeves, right? On both sleeves. And also use that heat and bun for the, to hem the bottom of your peplum top, okay? Okay. So, if you remember me having the the um, soft stretch, the soft stretch um, heat and bun, what you'll do, you just fold it under just like that. And this time, you will turn on your, your steam, just like that. And we're gonna steam it on both sides. And Okay, so I went ahead and added the soft stretch heating bond around my skirt. And what you'll do next is you're, I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to um, hem. And you are done. Yes, ladies, love it. Okay, y'all, so you guys are done. You see, I even put on a cute little cardigan just to switch it up a little bit. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to my new subscribers. Do not forget to click the notification bell, click subscribe, and like this video. The pattern that I used today was the Women's Magnolia pattern. I love Magnolia because I'm from Mississippi and that's how I put a Magnolia stack. So yeah, go to Little Lizzie King and get a copy for yourself and make yourself a cute, a cute little top. Super cute stuff. Calling all mamas. Take care of yourselves and thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good night. See ya. See ya.